the adventures of the Assistant and Wiggles. All right, I think that should do it. Our science fair project is ready to go. Great job, Wiggles. This display looks awesome. Howdy do, you two. Oh, hey, Austin. Did you finish setting up your project? Indeed I did. Check this out. This year, I decided to answer one of science's greatest mysteries, just how the moon is made entirely of cheese. After months of extended research, I'm confident my solutions will rock the scientific community worldwide. Did you say the moon's made of cheese? Yes, crazy, right? Of course, the idea wasn't mine to begin with. I watched a video on the internet that showed me the light. You know that people on the internet make stuff up all the time, right? The moon isn't made of cheese, Austin. It's made of rock. Even Wiggles knows that. The moon isn't made of cheese? Of course not. That'd be silly. And a big waste of cheese. Uh, will you excuse me for a moment? The school science fair. What a perfect place to find a new weapon against my feline enemies. With this disguise, I'll trick the kids into thinking I'm a judge for the science fair. And then when I find the perfect project to fight back against all the cats and kittens in the world, I... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll use it! Yes, that's it! I'll use it! <laughs> Alright, you genius children! Show me what you got! This year, I ask the question, how big do balloons have to get before their pops scares you? Ah! Next! As you can see, my project was about which color shoes dogs prefer to chew on, and the answer might surprise you. Boring. This year, my project was about studying hamsters to see if they were the secret evil geniuses of the animal kingdom. Kid, this doesn't exactly help me today, but I've got a feeling you're gonna go far in life. My conclusion is that hamsters are not smart. This kid gets a failing grade! All these kids are jokes! None of these ideas are any good! It's an ice machine, capable of freezing anything and everything that gets in its way! Uh... I don't know, Harold. An ice machine like that sounds dangerous. Ah, oh, please. It'd only be dangerous in the hands of someone evil. You're just jealous because my project's gonna win first prize. Awfully confident about that, huh? Well, what did you decide to do this year? As you can see, if you drop an egg into a regular cup of water, it sinks to the bottom. But if you add enough salt to a jar of water, it changes the density of it and allows the egg to float. Pretty cool, huh? Salt has very interesting effects on water. Not only can it change density, but it lowers its freezing point as well. <laughs> Eggs? Salt? That's your project? <laughs> oh, what a hoot. Better luck next year. Ah, the nerve of that guy. Wiggle, the judges are almost here. And that's why the moon is not made of cheese. Austin, your entire project seems centered around a very obvious scientific fact. Tell that to the internet. Don't worry, you've got this. Just remember, speak slowly and clearly. Hey! Was that Harold? <laughs> if there's one thing cats can't stand, it's being frozen solid. This ice machine will be the perfect weapon! Hey! That's mine! Finders keepers, kid! Carol, what's wrong? What's wrong? One of those judges stole my ice machine and froze me to the floor! And there he goes! That's no judge! That's Howie the Hamster! <laughs> I haven't had this much fun in years! I really gotta stop doing the volcano project every year. Wiggles, we have to stop him! But how? How do you de-ice something like this? I'm sure there's something around here that we can use. No, nothing here. Ah! Not that one either. By the way, red is the best. Not this one. Must be a big day for you, huh? Austin's project won't work either. Oh no, how we even froze Mr. Engineer? Where does this leave us? We've got nothing to use but eggs and salt. Wait a minute, that's it. What, what's it? Remember what you said about salt? It lowers the freezing point of water. Which means it helps make ice melt. Oh, you're right. It's working, but we still need to stop Howie. 
And this could take some time. What we need is more salt. I bet there's some in the school kitchen. These will work. All right, this should have them free in no time. Thanks for this. Don't sweat it. I'm so cold. I don't think I'll ever sweat again. Hmm. What was that about the ice machine not being dangerous? Mm. And what was that about salt not being a good idea for an experiment? Fine, I was wrong. Don't worry, Harold. You'll be free in no time. But your socks might be a little wet. Yeah, thanks, I guess. Harold, can you help unfreeze everybody while we stop Howie? <sighs> I guess it's the least I could do. That's perfect. Thanks. Uh, I gotta get out of here somehow. Not so fast, Howie. Ah, the assistant and Wiggles. What an annoying surprise. Hand over the ice machine and no one gets hurt. You silly little girl. This ice machine is going to help freeze cats the world's over. Why would I ever give it back? Because it's the right thing to do? A tempting offer, but I think I'll stick with being evil. Then I guess we'll do this the hard way. Ooh, I'm so scared. You sure you want to do this, little girl? Drop! No! You melted my ice blast with hot water! That's not all we did! No! My ice machine! It only blasts water now. Salt water, to be exact. The salt lowered the freezing point of the ice. Uh, you may have won this time, but I'll be back. I'll be back. Uh, my back. My back. And in third place, for confirming what we always thought, but never knew, Austin. Hey, I'll take third place. And in second place, for a brilliant invention that inconvenienced us all, Harold Lerman. Well, at least I didn't come in third. And for saving the science fair with a simple, yet genius experiment, first place goes to the assistant. Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> so, who else is in the mood for ice cream? You can't be serious. Hey, assistant, now tell me about your science experiment that you had. So we used salt to change the density of the water that made an egg float. That's right, so the density of normal water is just... One. One. Now when you add salt to it, it increases the density and causes things to float. All right, so this one right here, we got two eggs. One egg and two eggs. Should we show the people at home the chicken that we got the eggs from? No. No, we don't have it. This is store-bought. That's right. So, so here are your two eggs, assistant, and drop them into the water. Both? Ready? Yes, go. Did they float? No. That's because the egg is more dense than the water. But if we add enough salt, do you think we can make it float? I don't know. All right. So why don't you take that egg out and hand it to me? All right. Ooh, your hand's all wet now. Is, is the water warm or cold? It's warm. I made it a little bit warm because that way you could put more salt into the water. Okay, so get your uh, stirring whisk right there. All right, and start adding salt. Open it up, and she's going to pour the salt in while stirring. So stir it in. So stir really well, assistant. A little bit more stirring down at the bottom. All right, let's stir that up really, really well before we add any more. Now, other things that salt water does, it also lowers the freezing point of water. And that's why it helps make ice melt. Did you know that? Really? That's, why, that's why Harold's ice machine stopped working when Wiggles put all the salt in it. Because it made it so that it would have to get, that it wouldn't freeze. So we're going to let it settle down. So things that happen when you add salt to the water. It increases the density. It increases the melting point, And it increases the freezing point. Okay, so now we have the egg. egg. We're going to put it in the water. And let's give it a couple of minutes to see what it does. And it's not floating yet. That means we need to add more salt. That's exactly right, assistant. So let's take the egg out and add. you add some more salt to it, okay? Okay. So now she's, so she's going to add the salt and the whisk. We're going to stir it up really, really well. 
People at home, have you ever seen an egg float? I haven't. Yeah, we might have done the science experiment one time before. Okay, the assistant's going to do some more stirring. Now, if we stir it long enough, it, it should turn clear. Unless you get too much salt in it, then it's called saturated. I think we put a lot of salt in there. We put a lot of salt in there. You wouldn't want to drink that, would you? No. Or even put it on your popcorn. Well, All I, right. think I don't think you put salt water on your popcorn. All right, so wait one second about putting that egg in. Let's zoom in a little bit closer this time. Okay. All right, assistant. So this is the water without salt, and this is the water with salt. Let's put the egg in and see what happens. Well, you can drop it in. It's floating, but let's see what happens if you drop it in a little harder than that. Okay. Whoa, try it one more time. Now, watch this, assistant. So this egg is in clear water. What do you think if I put it happens if I put it in there? I don't know. It floats too. It's too. That's right. That's proof that it wasn't just a trick egg. Right, assistant? Right. So that is how you can change the density of water by adding salt. It changes the freezing point, the melting point, and the density, right? Right. And that's how we're able to make our, our, our egg float and why the assistant won the science fair. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. I'm going to see if this one floats. Okay. Nope. Nope. Just need to add salt. Hey there everyone! Thanks for watching our video. Now make sure that you subscribe to the Engineering Family so you can see lots of cool videos. In fact, there's another cool video right there! You can select and watch it. I think you're really going to like it. Is it Team Umuzumi, Paw Patrol, Surprise Eggs, Frozen, Blade, Masha? There are so many videos to watch! Bye!